votes. And now we take a look at whether the balance of the power in the Senate and House shift. But it could still be days, several weeks, even perhaps, until we know which party will have the majority. That's because right now, Senate Democrats, they have just a slight lead with 48 Senate seats compared to the Republicans who have 47. And 51 seats in the Senate are needed for a simple majority. So the Republicans, meanwhile, they appear to be gaining seats in the House. They've secured 203 seats, while Democrats have 190 at this point, whichever party reaches 218 seats, they'll take control of the House. They'll have the majority there. Eyewitness News reporter Jasmine Payute here to see how this is all shaping up. We predicted that this wouldn't necessarily have an outcome last night, and we could still be waiting, as we said, several days, perhaps weeks, until we have a decision. Good morning, here. Jasmine. <laughs> Good morning, Jim Janelle. That's right. Cautiously optimistic is the phrase that's been thrown around by both parties as results continue to pour in from yesterday's midterm elections. It could be days before some tight races are determined. We took a look at the winners so far and the key issues that drove voters to the polls. Inflation and abortion were the two biggest issues on voters' minds yesterday, according to CBS News exit polls. Prices are horrendous. Abortion is health care, and it's very important. CBS News characterizes the battle for the House as leaning Republican. The Senate is still a toss up with several incumbents pulling off projected victories, including Florida Republican Marco Rubio. I believe we are on the cusp of a new generation of leadership in this Republican Party. In New Hampshire, Democrat Maggie Hassan. Thank you for the trust that you have once again placed in me. CBS News has called Ohio's Senate race for Republican J.D. Vance, while Georgia Senate candidates are urging patience as the vote count continues. If you can hang in, hang in there a little bit longer. Georgia is showing up in such an amazing way. Some top Republicans are already conceding that a predicted red wave did not materialize despite early gains in key house races. The numbers have been amazing so far. Former President Trump closely watched returns from Florida as he considers a 2024 run. Meanwhile, the White House released this photo of President Biden as he called winners from his party. And these midterms are slated to be the most expensive ever. The 2022 elections are on track to cost $16.7 billion at the state and federal level, according to the nonpartisan website Open Secrets. Jim Janelle, that's more than double the midterms from just eight years ago. So a wow. lot of money we're talking oh, about. A lot of Amazing. money spent. And this race is still not decided after all that. All right. Still not decided. Jasmine, thank you, Jasmine. thank you for that. It.